Hey everyone, I'm Chef Z and today I'm going to show you how to use the Ninja Belgian Waffle Maker Pro. The Ninja Belgian Waffle Maker Pro has a vertical design which is engineered to heat evenly and consistently to create fluffy waffles with a crisp finish. It has audible and visual alerts to take the guesswork out of cooking. The lights will illuminate red and green to indicate when cooking and you'll hear a beep when the waffle is done. It also comes with the precision pour cup which makes it easy to pour the perfect amount of batter. Now let's make some waffles. You can easily use your favorite waffle mix, follow the instructions right on the box, or use one of the recipes included in the inspiration guide to make your batter from scratch. I'm going to use a box mix today. I mixed together all of the ingredients in a bowl, and I noticed that it was a bit thick, so I added an extra tablespoon of water as the inspiration guide recommended to thin it out. If your batter is too thick, it won't flow smoothly into the waffle maker, potentially resulting in an imperfect waffle, which we don't want. I'm now going to allow the batter to sit for about five minutes before I pour it into the waffle maker. This allows the leavening agents to activate, which helps create the perfectly square waffle that I'm looking for. I like my waffles to be light and fluffy with just a little crisp on the outside, so I'm going to use Shea Setting 2 to cook on today. As you can see, the indicator light turned red, which means that the unit is preheating. It will change to green when it is ready for me to pour my batter in. Now that the light has turned to green and the waffle maker is beeped, I know that it is fully preheated and ready for me to pour in my batter. To keep this a no mess experience, I'm going to pour or spoon the batter into the precision pour cup. You'll see that there are markings inside and outside of the cup. The first line equals 3 fourths and it is the minimum fill line. Since all batter types vary, you may need to adjust the amount of batter in your cup to be able to make a full complete waffle, but starting with the 3 fourths minimum fill line is a great place to start. Now I would just pour the batter right into the top of the waffle maker. As you will see, once the batter is detected inside, the indicator light will turn back to red to let me know that it's cooking. You want to be sure to never open the waffle maker before the light turns back to green. The light turned back to green and the waffle maker beeped, which lets me know that my waffle is done. Push in the button on the handle to unlock and pull the front plate down to open it. And here is the completed waffle. You want to make sure to use silicone tip tongs to remove the waffle so that you don't risk scratching the plates. Ninja's Never Stick technology makes it so easy to remove your waffle with no residue left behind. Now, if you have more batter to cook, it's as simple as closing the waffle maker back up, waiting for the light to turn to green, and repeating all of these steps until you're done. Feel free to change the shade setting too. This waffle maker makes it so easy to do back-to-back -back cooking, and you can customize each to your preference. When you're done cooking, it couldn't be easier to clean your waffle maker. Just make sure it's fully cooled and take a damp soapy towel or cloth and wipe it down to remove any potential residue. Then you're all done and you can add your favorite toppings and enjoy your delicious fluffy waffles. If you're looking for more information on the Ninja Belgian Waffle Maker Pro, visit ninjakitchen.com. And for some tasty recipe inspiration, be sure to visit ninjatestkitchen.com.